Webflow has an AI site builder, and despite my goal of being the person to show you all the stuff AI and Webflow, I haven't even tried it yet. So in this video, I'm gonna try it, and then we're gonna compare it exactly to Reloom, which is my favorite way to build a Webflow site using AI. So let's get right into it. First things first, this is what you see when you create a new site in Webflow. I'm sure you've probably seen this before. It says AI Site Builder. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on that, and let's go through this flow. So I'm gonna be trying to build a new website for MemberStack today. If you don't know what MemberStack is, it's the best way to add auth payments and a database to your Webflow site to turn it into an actual app. Link is in the description, check it out. All right, anyway, so let's go ahead and say, well, a business, and what am I doing? Member stack is the name. So let's go ahead and click next. First thing I wanna say, very nice flow here, and shout out to the designers who made this. Feels very zen and fancy and cool, so. Anyways, who is the target audience? What makes the business unique? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and write this now. All right, so Webflow developers who are trying to turn their site into a web app, MemberStack allows you to add authentication payments and a database to your Webflow site. That's probably good for now, so let's go ahead and run it. Now it's going to give us a site structure. So yeah, the flow of this is really nice, I will say, but what matters at the end is how good is it at actually building a site. Okay, so navigation, hero section, logo bar, feature section, feature section, pricing, call to action, testimonial, FAQ, content feed, contact form, and footer. That sounds good to me. I'm, I'm a fan of it, really. I don't have anything to change, so let's go ahead and hit next. Now, brand style. I would say professional right here. Um, I want it to have a similar style to our usual site, so I feel like professional is probably the way to go. Probably a mixture between like playful and professional, but whatever, let's go ahead and say professional. And then I want it to be light, uh, brand voice and tone. Let's go for insightful. That sounds good to me, I always wanna be insightful. And for primary color, I am going to go ahead and select that one. That's weird, I was thinking it was gonna like let me enter in a hex code, but Okay, so this blue, let's go ahead and go with that and see what it generates. All right, so this is the first thing that we ended up with and uh, I haven't scrolled yet and I will say this looks nice, but the other thing that I'll say is I'm pretty sure I said I wanted a light theme. I want it to be light. Uh, this, is, this is quite pretty though. Okay, so we have now this. Now we're getting into more of a light theme. I'm assuming there's some sort of like animation here that goes on, but I'm not quite sure. We'll, we'll check that out after. Build powerful web apps. Pricing table's pretty nice. Um, this one should line up with this one. Okay, different text length, whatever. Launch web apps, no limits. Then we have this testimonial section. Okay, so this is a nice site. I will say though, it doesn't feel like it was designed by a designer. It just feels like a very basic site. Uh, that being said, I think it's a excellent starting point. So let's go ahead and just play around here. Let's try this one and see if that changes anything. I mean, that looks overall very similar. Not quite sure. I guess this button is changing a couple things. Seems like maybe the fonts are a bit different, but I like the first one, so let's go with that. What can I do here? Okay, there's a bunch of like color schemes that I can choose from. Let's stick with the one that we have. Typography. Okay, this is just for the size. Font weight packs. Okay, and then we have font packs here. MemberStack uses plus Jakarta Sans, so I'm gonna try to find one that has plus Jakarta Sans in it. And if not, I might just go with Enter because I like Enter. That being said, if I was using this, I'd probably want to match, you know, the brand. So I'd really like it if there was a way, I know Reloom has this, where I could just straight up say, use these fonts. Okay, let's go back to Sans Serif and I guess let's find something different. DM Sans and Man Rope, those are both fonts that I like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Sections, header inverse, all primary, footer secondary. Okay, so there's some options here. I wonder if it's gonna let me, oh, okay, now we have our light theme, header primary. There's not really an option to just have it be all light. Oh, all primary. There we go, there we go. Okay, that, that's what I wanted. You may disagree with my design choices, but well, sucks for you. Okay, so image choices, I mean, really, I would be replacing all these, I don't think these, they kind of, I don't know, they don't really have all that much to do with, with member stack, so I'd be changing all of those out. We can change the cards and we can change the roundness. So let's go ahead and do round. I feel like it's gonna make it a bit more friendly. Yeah, that, that looks a lot better in, in my opinion. And cards, what options do we have there? Small shadow, maybe go with that. I don't love this section, so I wanna see if there's anything I can do to like, yeah, replace section. Okay, let's go ahead and replace this section here. 
Okay, so it actually brings up like a library of different sections. That is awesome. Let's see, we got a nice little bento grid. This one's nice, okay, let's go with that. So we should have some tabs now. Yep, okay, I guess it's just writing the copy for that and then these tabs are gonna work. Nice card. So you can get a little bit more granular with this. Let's actually go through and try to replace a couple of different sections. Seems like we're waiting for this one to happen, so get back to you when this is done. All right, so that first section was changed. Let's go ahead and come up with a new hero section now. I think that's gonna make a pretty big difference. I don't mind this one, but I don't know, I don't love it either. So let's see what else Webflow has to offer. I like these centered hero sections, so this could be like a footer. If you look at the actual member stack site, there's something a lot more similar to this. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. And then the logo section I don't love, so let's swap that out, and then I think we can move to the next step, whatever that may be. Okay, the logo sections, unless they're just not rendering correctly, I don't like them. There we go, nice little gray background there to break things up. Yeah, okay, so this is pretty good. I don't know if it applied the fonts to all the sections though. Like this one right here doesn't look, I don't know what that is. This one here does not look like the other fonts. Like this font looks nice. These ones look correct. A little bit funky, but hey, I mean, this is amazing. If you showed me this like a year ago and if I wasn't aware of how good Reloom was, I would be, you know, going crazy over this. Okay, so now let's see what we ended up with, especially in the class department I'm really interested in. Other thing is there's only one page. I'm gonna see if we can actually add more pages to it. This is a component, that's wonderful. The class names are nice, but I don't know what structure this is actually following. I really would have loved to have been able to select which way I want this to make my site. So if I go to the style guide, we can see that there is with flow kit. Okay, maybe someone just needs to educate me on what flow kit is. Again, everything seems very well structured. I'm not gonna say it isn't, but me along with, I would say most other Webflow developers, I confidently say most, use client first, and I don't like how I cannot use client first. I'm not a huge fan of that. This is pretty good. I'm gonna see if I can continue to use this on other, okay, new page with AI. Let's go ahead and make an about page and see what it does for these other pages. And then I think we can move past this and see how it stacks up against Reloom. All right, here's our about page. So we have a similar kind of hero section. This is nice. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. Um, it also came up with a logo for us. Don't, don't know where it came up with that one, but uh, yeah, you know what? This is pretty good. I have to say I'm overall pretty impressed with how this works. So now what I wanna go ahead and do is try Reloom and see how it stacks up. Can we make a better site? Is the flow any better? So let's go ahead and pop into Reloom and try it out. So I've clicked on create project and I'm just gonna go ahead and call this member stack just like that. And then I'm gonna write out my prompt. So I'm gonna say something like member stack is a tool that you can use with Webflow. You can use it with more than Webflow, but for the sake of the demo, we're just gonna say Webflow, add auth payments, databases, and it helps you turn your site into a web app. Okay, so I'm gonna say something similar to what I said previously. So let me write that now. All right, so I said MemberStack is a product that you can add to your Webflow site to easily integrate auth payments in a database. MemberStack is easy for anyone to use, but can also be scaled to larger businesses. Companies such as Slack, Reddit, American Airlines, and even Webflow use MemberStack to power some of their gated experiences. So this was a little bit beefier of a prompt, so we're gonna have to keep that one in mind as we move forward. And two to five pages, let's go five to 10 pages. So that's one thing right off the bat that, Re oh, I can scroll that apparently, uh, that Reloom has, which the Webflow one does not have. And there's also an option to start from a site. It seems to have gone away from me for some reason. So I guess you can just like enter an old site URL. Let's say you are looking for clients. You can enter like their old site URL, pop that in and then go ahead and try it. I don't know, but let's go ahead and hit generate sitemap. So something that I really like about Reloom is, you know, I used to be an agency founder, used to work for clients. And and the flow that we followed to build out these sites is very similar to what Reloom does. First, it started with a sitemap. We used something called Octopus for that. Then we made wireframes. 
then we made a style guide, then we did the design. And Reloom is actually an agency, a Webflow agency originally. And then they made this product, which I suppose by now is like making them way more money than the agency made them because Reloom is huge now. Um, and let's see what it generated us. So nav bar, hero, feature, 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 team, logo list, testimonial section, CTA section. Okay, so overall it's pretty good. We have more pages here too. We have, I guess I'll close this off about us, features, blog, contact us, blog post as well. So that is wonderful. Uh, one thing that I don't like, and this is why Reloom is so cool, is it did a team section. I don't really think a team section should be on the homepage of a SaaS product, right? So this one I would say could maybe be like, you know, showcase section to showcase what some of our customers have built. And this is the cool thing, again, as someone who's worked for clients on Webflow projects many, many, many times, this is exactly what we would do. We would just edit the sitemap like this using simple words. And so I think Reloom really follows the standard agency like site development process. And I absolutely love that. So showcase section, we want to show off what some of our customers have built with member stack. Wonderful. Okay, so that's good. You know, I'd recommend going through this more with like a, you know, fine tooth comb or however the saying goes. Uh, but this is pretty good. So I'm just going to leave that and then I'm going to head into wireframe. So now what Reloom is going to do is it's going to take my sitemap and basically match it up with sections um, that can get going on our site. So the cool thing about this is that if you don't know Reloom, I mean, they were an agency and then it became a Webflow component library with a bunch of like unstyled wireframe components. Then it became an AI site builder. Uh, and so they're actually using not just sections that were built by AI and can lead to some, you know, ugly, weird, non-human looking designs. Reloom is feeding off of their library of human designed components. And that is, I think, Reloom's secret sauce to actually being able to generate like really great sites with AI is there's the right level of human input into this entire process. So shout out to the Reloom team for that. So now we have our site, as we can see here, in wireframe form. And you're probably going, oh, the member stack one, sorry, the Webflow one was so much better. Yes, this is just a wireframe. Hold on tight because this is about to get way better. So I do not like this hero section. I'm not a fan of it. And I can just, I can actually just click like shuffle or I can go through a library of what exists. So I'm just gonna hit shuffle and see if it gets me anything better. If not, um, I, I, I think it literally did the exact same section. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna select one manually then. Okay, so we have a bunch of different heroes here that we can choose from. I'm just gonna keep like there's hundreds. There's absolutely hundreds. And as you saw with the Webflow library, there's just not that much yet. I hope and assume that's gonna change, but at the moment, I mean, the Reloom one blows the Webflow one out of the water in terms of just straight up section choices, as you can see. So like now we have these feature sections and another cool thing, you probably saw this animated, is Reloom has a bunch of what they call uncommon sections, which are, well, uncommon. They have like cool designs in them, cool animations, all sorts of stuff. So let's go ahead and find a new layout over here. And I think we are going to be able to move on to the next step, but I wanna find something cool here just to really showcase kind of how awesome Reloom is. So take a look at this. It's got this little animation going on. Love it. Let's go ahead and use that section. I would say this is actually a really nice structure for a page right off the bat. Customer stories. Um, Gonna go ahead and do a new one for this, and then we're gonna move on. Ooh, this this one's cool. I mean, I think we've all seen a section similar to this. Very cool, where you hover over it and like an image reveals behind it. So, okay, now let's go on to style guide. Now we're gonna take these wireframes and make them way, way better. So, first things first, I can actually select my colors. I definitely think Webflow should add that in. And let's go ahead and try to find something similar to the member stack blue, probably that one. Um, now there's a lot of, can I just like remove? I literally want it to be black, white, and blue, just like the member stack site. Um, along with that, this has this like light blue background that I don't love. Okay, so for heading, now this is really cool. I can go ahead and type in, you know, plus Jakarta Sands and immediately use the 
exact fonts that the brand is using. So for body, I'm gonna do the same thing, plus Jakarta Sands. There we go. And then we have UI styling here, so I can go ahead and change that up. I like these brick ones. Maybe, maybe not. Elevate, this is actually exactly what they look like on our website. So I'm gonna go with that. And I am going to, okay, so now it's rounded. This is a confusing UI, honestly. I didn't realize that changed the color or the corner radius. Cards and images, cool. Okay, so the only other thing that I wanna do is, yeah, I wanna make it bold. And I think we're in a pretty good spot with the style guide, okay. So this is what we can see now. Now if I go to design over here, it's gonna like add that to all of the other ones and I could zoom in over here. Oh, getting a little bit slow. Okay, there we go. So it's done. And now I can change things that I wanna change. So like this, I want it to have a white background. There we go. This one has a blue background, but honestly, it's okay. Let's, let's use a gray background. Maybe I preferred the blue one. Okay, but anyways, we can now see what this has given us and we can just pop this right into Webflow. We're not gonna do that right now. I have another video where I do that. Now we have this site right here and I'm interested to see if I can preview in here because there's some cool animations that, um, that we can't see right now in this, this preview mode. But this is what we're left with on the page. And what I will say right off the bat, design wise, this looks like something that was made by a human designer, not AI. And that's what I think is so cool about Reloom. This right here, it's missing some flair. You know, an AI generated site is not going to look like some, you know, for example, I recently saw this like Lando Norris site by Off Brand. So I don't even know who this guy was. He's a Formula One driver. Now I know who he is. Look at this. This is a website. This is insane. You know, AI is not, at least as far as I'm aware, I don't think AI is ever gonna come up with something so creative, so beautiful, so interactive. It's just not gonna happen. Don't expect it to happen. We'll see. Maybe, you know, I'll bite my tongue on that one. But what this has given us is a nice looking starting point. So I can now go through, kind of add some of my own flair, add some more animations, make it extra cool. So Reloom, you know, did a great job. I don't think anyone's surprised about that unless you've never seen Reloom before. It's an amazing tool and you know, it once again, absolutely killed it. I would now go in, export this into Webflow and just make it better. So the final verdict of this video is can Webflow's AI site builder keep up with Reloom? Is it as good as Reloom? And I'm gonna say no, but definitely with a caveat. First things first, Reloom is not cheap. It is, I believe it starts at $40 a month, which is definitely worth it if you're building sites for a living. If you're not building sites for a living and you're just kind of a hobbyist, you're messing around, maybe you're building something for your own business, that's a lot of money. And uh, some people just absolutely cannot afford that or it doesn't make sense for them to use that. Webflows is built into Webflows pricing. You don't need to pay anything additional to get that. So if you are just building a site for your small business, I think as far as all things considered goes, the Webflow Site Builder is probably gonna be good enough for you and it's free. If you're a professional building sites for clients, I definitely would say Reloom is the way to go. It definitely won as far as quality goes and I just think it's such a great flow. So that's it for this video. I love seeing these AI site builders that still allow us as web designers to actually you know, mess around with it and improve it instead of just, you know, let's say vibe coding a site and then having to prompt it a bunch. I could import this into Webflow and then I can very easily, let's say, adjust my border radius, change the color, exact color of my paragraph, change the images directly in a environment that I'm familiar with. So super cool. Again, Reloom, you guys are killing it. Webflow, you guys are killing it too, but uh, in the AI site builder, site builder part, Reloom takes the cake. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.